Hi, I'm Paul Dayball from Niagara College in Welland, Ontario, Canada, and I'm going to do a quick video here on how to put Twitter onto the sidebar of a WordPress using the Twitter widget. There's a uh, number of steps to this, so I thought a movie might be one of the best ways to uh, kind of teach this. So I have my um, WordPress open here, and I can get to the dashboard here. So I'll go to the dashboard here. And um, in another tab, I have uh, my Twitter feed open. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and go down to settings. In the settings area, I can scroll down and you'll see widgets. I already have some widgets made, but I'm going to create a new one. What we'd like is a list. In here, I have to put in my uh, Twitter URL. HTTP colon twitter.com slash and then your uh, username on Twitter. Then we can click this button. You have to uh, pick which one of these you'd like. I'm going to use this one. I find that's the best one for the embedded timeline. And um, right here, there's a thing called set custom options. And remember, this is scrollable, right? So set custom options. And the only one that I'm going to change is that I am interested in the height. So I'm going to put the height at 800 pixels high. You can see down here that it now gives me a scroll bar that I can scroll up and down on my uh, um, on the actual feed. I'm not going to set a width. I'm going to have the width set automatically. I'm going to just leave it with the light and automatic language and stuff. So I'm going to say update. And what it then does is gives me and updates the code for me. So all I got to do is say copy the code and that's copied. Back over to dashboard. The widget is going to appear in a sidebar, um, so I'm going to go to Appearance Widgets. And I've copied some text, and it's just code, so I'm going to take the text widget, and you can use this for all sorts of things. You can uh, put in lists and all sorts of stuff that you want. It's just text. I'm going to paste in um, the widget that I had just created. And you can see in here that there's the data height and there's the 800 that you can put in that was put in for us. I'm going to put in a title of Twitter feed. And I'm going to save that. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to visit my site and refresh it. And there is my Twitter feed. Now it's it's kind of long, right? A little long. So it's really easy for me. I don't have to go back to Twitter or anything. I can just go into widgets, go to the Twitter one, and there's the data height 800. I'm just going to change that to, let's say, um, 550. I'm going to say save. You can adjust this to whatever you'd like once you, once you get comfortable um, working with it. Um, I have to go here and refresh again. And uh, there I go. All done.